I'm Judy Shaw for NYSC Floor Talk. Joining me today is William P. Lauder. He is executive chairman of the Estee Lauder Companies, along with Elizabeth Hurley, global ambassador of the Estee Lauder Companies Breast Cancer Campaign. Thank you both for joining me today on the floor. Now, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and this year marks the 30th anniversary of the Estee Lauder's Breast Cancer Campaign. So, William, your company's been dedicated to this campaign for 30 years. How did the campaign get started, and how will you continue your mother's vision? Well, the campaign was started, as you mentioned, by my mother, Evelyn Lauder, 30 years ago, to raise awareness for breast cancer, which has now become the number one leading cause of cancer diagnosis for women in the world. To first to raise awareness, and then ultimately to raise funds to help fund the research, to help find a cure for breast cancer. We've been able to incorporate all the energies and enthusiasm of the over 45,000 Estee Lauder employees around the world, focused on raising awareness, raising funds, and helping to make a difference in the lives of so many different people. Now, Elizabeth, you are the campaign's global ambassador. How has it evolved since you became global ambassador? Well, I joined the Estee Lauder companies 27 years ago in early 95, just before the company went public. And at that time, William's mother, Evelyn, came and said, I've just started this new campaign and I wondered if you'd help. And I said, absolutely, what is it? And she said, well, women around the world are dying of breast cancer and nobody is talking about it and I want to change that. And that's exactly how it started. And I knew what she was talking about because my grandmother had recently died of breast cancer and nobody spoke about it. And now, you know, 27 years later, 30 years later for the company, we're here talking about it. There's pink ribbons everywhere. It's on every television show during October. And, you know, it's, the world has changed for breast cancer. What hasn't changed is that women are still dying. But what has changed is that we all talk about it. It's not a dirty secret anymore. We all talk about how we can make a difference. We all know about how treatments have improved, how diagnosis has improved, and we're all even more determined to keep going until there is nobody else dying of breast cancer. Now, talk to me about the milestones that you've reached, and what are you most proud of as you reflect over the past 30 years? We've reached a number of different significant milestones for the breast cancer campaign. We, Estee Lauder Companies, have raised over $100 million on behalf of for breast cancer research around the world. The accomplishments of the brilliant researchers who've been doing all this work is incredible. So in 1995, if, if a woman was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer, she had a 75% chance of surviving five years or more. Today, a woman diagnosed with stage one breast cancer has an over 90% chance of surviving five years or more. So there's so many millions of women who have been impacted positively by the work that's been done by these brilliant researchers. And we're just getting going. We, the SD Lauder uh, foundations have now funded research into outcome disparities research, to look at the differentials in outcome with different people of different groups and minority groups and others who've got different medical outcomes with similar treatments because everybody needs that focus to find the cure that's going to help them live. Now, Elizabeth, what would you like everyone to know about breast cancer? Well, I think people need to know exactly what William just said, that it is not a death sentence. That, you know, mortality rates have dropped 53, uh, 43% since the late 1980s. And, you know, if a breast cancer is caught early, there's more than a 90% chance of living at least another five years. Those are great statistics, which weren't always there. And I think when people know that, it takes some of the fear out of going to be tested, to be screened, to go to your doctor if you're worried about something, knowing that if you have something wrong, and it's caught early, there's such a great chance you're going to survive. So I think that's just the most vital thing we can always say. And actually that messaging hasn't changed in 30 years. Early detection saves lives and that's as important today as it was then. Now, you've mentioned that you raised over 100 million. Talk to me about how the funds raised are actually contributing to the research for breast cancer. So when we raise money for the breast cancer campaign, those monies are given to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, which has a scientific advisory board and we fund researchers who are doing cutting edge work in breast cancer for treatment and finding cures and identification of those issues. All of the brilliant researchers who are part of the Breast Cancer Research Fund network, one of the many things they have to do is they have to be willing to share their findings with all the other researchers in the network so that everybody's lifted to the latest bit of learning. The goal is for us to find a cure, and we're making such progress, but as we make progress, we learn, there's more we learn about what we need to do even further. 
and supporting these amazing, brilliant people who are really working very detailed on a molecular level. It's really incredible to be able to support these brilliant researchers and ultimately to see the outcome of their work. All right, and finally, Elizabeth, how can people learn more about the campaign and how can they join in its mission? On a basic level, they can go to our website and they can read about it. They can read all the literature they can get. But really, we'd love people to help us raise funds as, whilst they're raising awareness. So even on a very small level, um, people could do it with me on TikTok right now. <laughs> help with me draw a pink ribbon with a lipstick on their hand and the Estee Lauder companies will donate 30 bucks for every ribbon and every person that duets with me. So that's a way that young people can really feel that they're, they're doing their bit to make a difference. So on many different levels, or they could write us a very large check. They could do either, <laughs> but joining in and duetting on TikTok is a great start. Oh, yes, indeed. All right, well, wonderful to talk with you both and really appreciate all that you're doing for breast cancer awareness. And Thank you very keep much. It up. Thank, Thank you. you very much.